Today's thought is for August the 12th, 2013, and based upon the readings, the 1st of Kings 7, Jeremiah chapter 33, and Mark chapter 7. The theme for the thought is, in vain do they worship. Although atheism is rife in our country, is not an even greater disaster those who go to places of Christian worship and yet in God's eyes fail to offer to him the heartfelt worship that he seeks. The wide variety of churches must surely indicate this, but we must avoid a judgmental attitude. That is God's prerogative. However, we cannot help seeing some of the differences between first century Christianity and that which exists today. Our aim, of course, must be to make sure we ourselves are approaching God and His Son in the way that He desires. Our second aim should be to try and help those whom we fear are failing in their approach to effectively worship God. Now Jesus, in confronting this failure, bluntly said that the type of worship he was seeing was in vain. How tragic that any worship is in vain. One cannot totally blame the atheists and agnostics when they turn their backs on Christianity as they see such a contradictional mix of churches. A major reason why we read the Bible every day is to get a right understanding of what God and His Son Jesus require of us. Only through word do we learn how they should be served and worshipped. In today's reading, Mark 7, Jesus calls the Pharisees and the scribes hypocrites in verse 6. That is, people who put on a false front. He quotes what God caused Isaiah to prophesy, as in the 29th chapter in verse 13. For God declared, this people honours me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me. Teaching as doctrine the commandments of men. How much worship today is pleasing to God, only God knows. But the above quotation shows that there are two aspects which we must get right. Our attitude of heart. Worship is not just a ritual. It must reflect the desires that we feel in our heart. Secondly, that the things we teach and believe are truly confirmed by God's Word. Words we read a week ago in the last chapter of Romans spring to mind. Watch for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine you have been taught. Avoid them, for such persons do not serve the Lord Christ, but their own appetites. Let us make sure our appetite is fed every day by the word of God, the words of Jesus ringing in our minds. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst.
This thought was written by David Cowdery. To read this thought online or to view and purchase other Christadelphian literature, please come to www.thechristadelphian.com.